Hello everybody and welcome to this tutorial. Apologies that I haven't done a tutorial for ages but I have been really really poorly. So today we are going to make these. Now these are face scrubbies. They are so easy to make. Um, they're suitable for beginners. Honestly they're really really easy. Um, and I just thought I'd make them because they're quick and easy make and also I'm not thinking about Christmas but I am thinking about Christmas and I'm planning on making a pack of like five to give away because it's all been a bit more environmentally friendly so without further ado let's get going <laughs> So for this tutorial, you are going to need your yarn. Now, you need 100% cotton yarn for this. This one is from a company called Hobby. I think they're Dutch. I, oh, there you go, designed in Scandinavia. Um, and these are really good because they come with this little tab to pull from the middle. Um, I'll put the link to their website where I got these. So 100% natural cotton is what you need to make these face scrubbies because they are going to be washed a lot. They're kind of like one use and then wash. You're going to need your corresponding yarn hooks. So I'm using a 5.5 for these, some scissors and a needle to sew your ends in. I know how boring. Now this pattern does start with a magic circle. I have got a tutorial on how to do the magic circle. I will link it up above in the card section. If you do not want to do a magic circle, or if you cannot do a magic circle, you can use the chain method. So all you need to do, if I can get this stick off, is chain four, I'll show you now quickly. So this is not the magic circle method. So just do your slip knot, then you just chain four, one, two, three, four, and then you slip stitch into the first chain and that will make a circle and then you just work into the middle of this in just into this space here so it really is easy if you don't want to do a magic circle but I'm going to do a magic circle let me move this back a bit because I haven't got a lot of room <laughs> So as I said, I have got a video on how to do a magic circle and I will pop it in the cards up above here. Bear with me, I'm just gonna sort my camera out. Sorry, my camera was a bit low and now it's gonna fall down, I think. Here we go. Let's go. So magic circle. I always, it's this fiddly bit. Once you've done your magic circle, you just want to chain one. Now this is just puff stitch, but it's a smaller puff stitch. So we're just going to yarn over, insert our hook into the circle, yarn over and pull up. And you want to keep this yarn quite loose because you, you need the height for the stitch. Yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, and then a third time. So normally a puff stitch has more yarn overs, but we're keeping it little. And then yarn over, and top tip, when you're pulling through a lot of stitches, just turn your hook upside down, and then it should be easier to pull through all of those loops, and then chain one. And we're going to repeat that another five times so we because we want five puffs so yarn over pull through so that's one two and three and yarn over turn that hook upside down 
pull through and then chain one. So that's number two. So let's shifty this over a little bit. This first round is the trickiest because you're crocheting into the circle. So one, two, and three. Yarn over, pull through, and chain one. One, two, three. I haven't done these very big this round. Let me pull some more yarn. I always get like yarn trouble. So that is one, two, three, four. You can just keep pulling that to make your circle a bit smaller. One, two, three, Yarn over, pull through, chain one. One, two, three, four, five. Just double check that you have got what you think you have. One, two, and three. Yarn over, pull through, and then chain one. And now we're just gonna pull our end and close up our circle. So you should have six puff stitches and we're just gonna slip stitch. Be careful because you have a chain one and sometimes it looks like this is the stitch you need to slip stitch into, but you want to slip stitch into the top of your first puff stitch. So just insert your hook. Slip stitch through and chain one. And this is what you should have. So this is round one. Now round two is puff stitch again. It's all puff stitch, but we're gonna puff stitch in the top of each puff stitch from the previous round and also into the space in between. So yarn over. Insert your hook into that space. Yarn over, pull through. One. Two. Three. Yarn over. The first one is always the most tricky. And then chain one. And then we're going to work into this space here in between those puff stitches. So same again. One. Two. Three. Pull through. And chain one. And we're going to do that all the way around. So into the top, to this space here of the puff stitch. One, you can see it better now. Two. Three, oh, come on, there we go, chain one, and again in that space in between. One, two, three. So if you want to pause the video, and you want to do a puff stitch 
in the top of the st puff stitch from the previous round and then in the space in between and you should have 12 stitches when you get 12 puff stitches when you get to the end and I shall meet you when you get to the end and I'll show you how to join and carry on with the next round. So I've just completed my last puff stitch in the top of this one from the previous round. Don't forget you have another one to do here just down the side. One, two, three, chain one and we're gonna again you can see it on this one it, this is from the the chain one but we're gonna slip stitch into the top of this puff stitch here like so so you should have 12 puff stitches in this round so just double check that is the correct amount and then just chain one and then we're going to do exactly the same as we did for this round here so we're going to puff stitch into the top of here one two three and chain one and then into the space in between one two three chain one and then again into the top one two, three, oh, I got caught up. And then again, as in the round before, into the space, into the top, into the space, into the top, all the way around. So if you want to pause the video and I'll meet you when we get back to here. So I've just done my puff in the top of this stitch from before and I'm just going to do one in the space here and then we're going to slip stitch into the top of this first puff stitch from the round and that's the puff stitch done so you just want to chain one and then what we're going to do just to finish it off let me show on this one we're just going to do a double crochet or single if you're in the US into every stitch around just to finish off they are really that quick and easy to do so just all the way around into the top of every stitch and into that space this chain one here so into the top and then into here All the way around so if you want to carry on and I will meet you when you get near to the end of this round so I'm just coming to my last few double crochet Then you just want to slip stitch into the top of your first double crochet or single if you're in the US 
chain one grab your scissors give it a snip just pull your hook up and there you have your scrubby they really are that easy and that quick to do perfect and environmentally friendly because you're not using tons of cotton wool so thanks for watching there you go there's your tutorial Apologies for it being so long for my last tutorial. Hopefully I'm feeling a bit better now so I can get making with you all. Don't forget you can also find me on Instagram, on Facebook, on Crochet Beginners Group and also on my blog. I will leave all the information in the description box below. But that is it. Thanks for watching and happy crocheting.